for all and we don't have to keep the sacrifices no more but he but this is the covenant that he will make with them that he wrote his law in their hearts and in their minds okay that has that has twofold meaning to that Is this talking about Israel? Or is this talking about the world? It's, the, it's talking about Israel. Because <laughs> it's self explanatory in verse 16. He said, This is the covenant. I will put my laws into their hearts and into their minds, right? So, goes back to what we said earlier. Once Israel is in the place of the covenant, there is no need for sacrifices because we the priests. There's no need for sacrifices for us because we the priests to administer, to serve like the sons of Aharon did for the nation of Israel, we become the priesthood to do the same thing for the nations that Aharon and his sons did for the nation of Israel that rejected the priesthood agreement. Does that make sense? Do I need to say it again? The covenant Let's go back to Jeremiah, right? We're going to tie you together because he's quoting Jeremiah, right? So go to Jeremiah 31, 31. And this is going to open up, not a can of worms, but this is going to open up, bring clarity. Let's start at verse 29 first. And we're going to kind of bring it into um, context. All right. <laughs> In those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eateth the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. His teeth, not his children. All right, go ahead. Behold, the days come, says Yah, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Yehuda. All right, stop. Who's the covenant with? House of Israel. House of. It's with the Christian Church. Nope, nope. It's with the other nations. Mm -mm. It's with Israel mm -hmm. and Yehuda. Yeah. Right. All right, go ahead. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim, which my covenant they break, All right. although uh -huh. I was a husband unto them, says Yah. All right, now let's, let's break it down. Which covenant did they break, right? Was it all the laws that he gave through Moshe? Or was it a specific if you read every day, if you read every Shabbat, right? It was a specific covenant, right? All right, how do we know? Let's go back to Exodus 19. All right. Now we didn't read this today, so we're going. We're going to bring. We're going to bring it in. Bring it to play now. All right. Exodus nineteen one. In the third month, when the children of Israel were going forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai, for they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai, and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel camped before the mount, and Moshe went up unto Elohim and called 
unto him out of the mountain and Yah called unto him out of the mountain saying thus says Yah to the house of Yaakov and tell the children of Israel mm -hmm. ye have seen what I did unto the uh, Mitzrayim and how I bear you on eagle's wings and brought you unto myself now therefore if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine uh, what's the covenant now next verse what's the covenant and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a Kodesh nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel mm, that's it that's the covenant that's the covenant that Israel broke that's why he had to write the laws in the heart to put Israel back into the place to be the priests the priest sacrifices weren't for them it was for the people but since the people who he said this is the covenant needed priests for them <laughs> they broke it so now he had to start all the way over with Israel and priest Israel first and Israel fell right so that's what that's talking about so now when you go back to Jeremiah 31 and 31 you tie it in because Hebrews is just quoting what the prophet said so when you go back to Jeremiah 31, 31. And now we see, because we saw the same language, the house of Israel and the house of Yehuda. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, now verse 32, read verse 32 again not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, says Yah. Mm -hmm. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says Yah, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their Elohim and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No, Yah, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says Yah, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. All right, stop. See, now we see the relevance of that. Why is there, who is not going to be taught in the, at that age? Israel. Because Israel will be the teachers during the kingdom age. Okay. So that now that that's to say, he said that they shall know me from the least of them to the greatest. So that means even the children are going to have Yah's law written in their hearts. <laughs> the babies will be walking, walking tour. <laughs> so during the kingdom age, who's going to be ruling the nations with the Messiah, right? With the rod of iron. The house of Israel, right? And the house of Yehuda, right? So the northern and the southern kings kingdom will be one stick, one kingdom, right? No longer divided, right? So we go back to Hebrews 10. Now we see that the prophet or the, the apostle, whoever it was that they want to give credit to, we see what he's saying. He offered one sacrifice for sins forever and sat down on the right hand 
from henceforth expect until his enemy made his footstool for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are now we see who these who these them that are sanctified is that's why we have to teach the nations to obey Yah because they don't have it but Yah has made a requirement for every Israelite that have come into the knowledge of the law, statutes, and commandments, what is required, has a responsibility and a duty to teach the nations now and the thousand years. That's powerful. So that position that we're put in is heavy. That's the reason why we have to become the sacrifice. Because the sacrifices are teaching us how to rule the earth as we were called to do in righteousness, right? So, so now that's where you continue, continuing in Hebrews ten fifteen. Yah, the Ruach also is witness to us for all. For after that, he said. This is the covenant that I will make with them after the day says, Yah, I will put my laws into their hearts and into their minds, and I will write will write will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Right? So, because he has reinstated us as priests, right? And just to kind of put a cap on it, uh let's go let's go to something that Shaul said. First Peter two. Let's see, where do we want to start? Start at verse one. Hmm? Wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so being ye have tasted that Yah is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men mm -hmm. but chosen of Yah and precious. Mm -hmm. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house unholy a Kodesh priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable unto Yah by Yahshua the Messiah. Hmm. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, mm -hmm. and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, mm. whereunto also they were appointed. Mm. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a Kodesh nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him that have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, mm. which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Yah, which have not obtained, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. That's good. So did he tell him? Hmm? He told him, clean yourself up. Clean your hands, just like he told the priest. Wash your hands. And your feet that's what that's all talking about right mm -hmm. so Yahshua see that's the thing a lot of people don't know what Yahshua came to do hmm? saying again ye also as lively as, as we said a living sacrifice mm -hmm. said that lively stone 
are built up 